Hello and welcome to another Shipwatch. Today we're going to be looking at LPG carrier B Gas Master. As we fly around today, you may well notice that the anchorage is absolutely loaded. Shortly before a storm that came over and ripped through. So let's have a delve into some of the details of B-Gas Master. It was built in May 2007 and she was built by a Medensi shipyard in Turkey. You'll notice here the anchor chain is actually straddled across, which is always painful to look at for us because we see it and we think, oh, that's going to rub like anything. It's going to knock the paintwork off. However, they're pretty hearty things. They're designed for this. Those that don't know, when a ship is actually anchored and the tide turns, the ship actually will face the opposite direction with the tide and quite often it causes the anchor chain to get caught up as we can see here. So quite clearly see LPG marked on the side there so it's, it's fairly obvious what we've got on board. She was designed from the off to carry LPG. She's got two tanks. They're covered up here, so you can't quite make out that there's two of them. However, there's two. They're similar size. One's about 1,600 cubic meters. The other one is 1,700 cubic meters, giving her a total of 3,319.52 cubic meters. This is a decent amount of space, considering she's on the smaller side as far as carriers go. She measures in at 87.5 meters in length, and she has a beam of 15 meters currently flying the flag of Malta and she's got a registered home port of Valletta. Now looking around this one she could do with a new paint job however it doesn't take away from some of the charm sometimes it adds a little bit of character especially a little bit of rust here and there which is completely unavoidable. So she's got a gross tonnage of 3430 tons and she's got a dead weight tonnage of 3801 tons. She features a man BMW engine and the engine power is 2065 kilowatts which which is decent for a vessel of this size. So she has a bow thruster fitted. In this case, it is a Rolls-Royce Type TT, which outputs 400 kilowatts of power. She's classed as a semi-refrigerated carrier. She has refrigeration capabilities of down to minus 48 degrees Celsius, and she has the ability of keeping LPG at a pressure of nine bar if needs be. So she's currently called B-Gas Master, however, she hasn't always been known as B-Gas Master. Now, if you look closely on there, you can just about see, almost like pressed into the metal, the original name of the ship. Uh, the original name was actually Halkion Star, which she remained until 2011, by the looks of it, when she became Govican. She remained as Govican up until 2017, when she became B-Gas Master. There is a logo on the exhaust system. The logo has a distinct sort of CS shape to it. Now that stands for Christiana Gas. Christiana Gas, they have a fleet of ships, not huge, huge, but they have a decent amount of ships. I think they've got around about 10 or 15 ships, most of them being the semi-refrigerated gas ships, just like this one here. So as per usual, we'll have a little bit of a sneaky look just inside the bridge, if we can see some silhouettes there we can also see what looks like a bonsai tree on the side so maybe we've got a bit of a horticulturist on board again above board in terms of paintwork she looks pretty good above board it's just a shame that the old rust is kicking through down one end so we can see the flags on top looking a little bit worse for wear but they're there and they're looking good unfortunately the flag of Malta down on the bottom is tied up uh, unfortunately no real crew action on this one which is a first in a little while because normally we we get some people out and about on the deck but um not this time, so we'll try again next time. Now, if you like watching this one, please, please, please drop us a like. Please subscribe, join us, join our community. We're um, hoping to bring you more of these. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And uh, we'll see you next time.